Hi everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can import a shape file or a vector polygon into a QGIS canvas. Then how to uh, change its color, stroke width, and all, and how how you can finally save both the uh, polygon vector and also it's the changes we make, like the color, the stroke width, uh, exactly like as it was so the common problem is that whenever you sh uh, save a vector polygon a shape file the color and uh, the other changes you make won't get saved actually you have to save it separately i will show you how you can do that i'm going to open a new empty project and i'm already having a uh, vector polygon in my drive so you can download the polygon a uh, vector polygon from the link i have provided in the description below so this is my study area polygon which is in GeoJS1 format <coughs> even if it is in uh, SHP format or shapefile format you can do the same so I'm dragging and dropping it here and I want to change its color into something else so for that I'm going to do a right click here I'm going to properties and there you will find an option called uh, control feature symbology and from there go to simple fill and the fill color can be changed from here i'm going to make it green and if i click apply the color will be changed and i want to also increase the stroke width stroke width is nothing but the thickness of the boundary line i'll show you i have increased it a little bit and if i click apply you can see the boundary line thickness has been increased and okay so now let's save this particular polygon and for that I'm going to do a right click and go into export and save feature as so the format is going to be a street shape file you can change it if you want to GeoJSON GeoJSON is my favorite format so I'm going to choose it and here you can browse the destination where you want to save your uh, uh, edited polygon so the file name is going to be new study area okay and i'm saving it and you just click okay so when i saved it what happened is that i'll show you the folder Okay, this is the polygon we just saved, uh, new study area dot geojson. And when I say in QGIS, when you save a, a layer, be it a raster layer or a vector layer, what happens is that it gets saved into your drive. And in addition, that particular data will get re-imported back to your QGIS canvas. That is what you see here. This is this was the layer and it got re-imported back to our QGIS canvas. But now you have noticed that this is the layer we saved, right? Exported, right? But when it got re-imported back to QGIS, the color and the thickness of the boundary line uh, is in what we uh, like is in is not the same, right? So here we if you want to change the color you have to repeat the whole procedure again so how can we uh, save the color and the boundary line thickness stroke width also while saving this particular vector polygon it's easy all you have to do is do a right click go to properties um, sorry do a right click go to export and here you will find an option called save as QGIS layer style file so you you choose this option to save the uh, symbology of your layer like color labels uh, attribute table and settings etc etc et so when you simply export the vector polygon these things won't get saved along with it you have to save it separately so this will be saved as qgis qml style file and i'm going to choose the destination the same folder and the file name is going to be layer style save it and click ok done so now you have saved the style of this layer we already saved the shape of, of the polygon and in addition we have now saved the style of the layer so I'm going to unselect this layer and let's call back the saved vector polygon 
so without uh, repeating the whole pro procedure of changing color and boundary line thickness what you can do now is that you can apply the saved layer style into this particular vector polygon and it's simple i'm going to right click and you have to go to properties and here uh, you will find an option called style here you have to click there and choose load style so now we are going to load a style from file which is going to be the style we have already saved this one layer style click open and click load style and click apply okay see we have made the changes now so you have to whenever you save a vector polygon you have to save the polygon first then you have to save its style then you can re-import that polygon or you can import it back to your QGIS canvas then you have to load the saved style and apply it so that's how you do it in QGIS uh, thanks for watching